Here we are at uh, Farnborough. We're now uh, taxiing onto the runway. Uh, thinking uh, another display. Uh, one of the things that uh, we need to bear in mind uh, uh, for the A400 when we're doing the display is we're actually doing it uh, with about uh, 17 tons of uh, flight test equipment on board, which is pretty much uh, a C-130 uh, load uh, and 10 tons of fuel. So uh, carrying 25, 27 tons uh, above the basic weight of the airplane. Listening to air uh, traffic, uh, waiting to get the clearance uh, for the takeoff. Should be any moment now. Okay, and off we go. Accelerating down the runway. First call uh, from Charlie Mai, who's the co pilot, is uh, 80 knots. Getting near to uh, the takeoff point. Rotation. Gear coming up, turning 70 degrees off the line. And uh, now pulling up uh, into a, I would say, a tactical departure, getting away from the airfield and climbing as quickly as we can. Next target is uh, 1,000, pushing over to level, taking the power off a little bit, and then setting ourselves up to turn back uh, towards the display line. You can see that the airplane is uh, pretty maneuverable. Uh, just immediately after takeoff, turning back. Doing about uh, probably 120 knots or so at uh, this stage. And then uh, positioning ourselves and descending back uh, towards uh, the center point of the display. This is uh, maneuvering now on the display line, pulling back, turning around about uh, 2G, climbing up uh, back uh, to the uh, 180 degree point just uh, showing the, the maneuverability of the airplane. It was quite a windy day here at uh, Farnborough. Uh, winds up to uh, 20 to 30 knots. So in this uh, section of the display, I was having to uh, reduce the bank a bit to track it a little bit more upwind, as you can see here, and then uh, turning again to come back uh, down onto the display point and uh, to stay on the center line. Okay. Here's just uh, turning just a little bit to be in the right position uh, for the center point of the display. You can see if you ever come to the display, there's those uh, orange boards that uh, mark the center point uh, for Farnborough. And then uh, turning again, uh, showing the bottom of the airplane uh, to the crowd as we climb back up uh, to about a thousand feet and set ourselves up uh, for the low speed pass. It's not, uh, I would say, a low-speed pass in a conventional sense, because what I'm trying to do, show here is uh, the capability of the airplane to fly slow, as if it was doing uh, helicopter uh, air-to-air refueling. So I'm configuring, slowing down, and we'll now uh, turn back in uh, to position ourselves for a pass at 100 knots. So you can see, compared to many airplanes that uh, do this particular maneuver, where they are really at high alpha and just hanging on uh, to the power and the props, we're actually not so far away from a uh, uh, level attitude, uh, which is a really good uh, stable platform uh, to put the hoses out and for the helicopters to come up behind us. So the next point is we uh, apply power. Accelerate uh, just a little bit. And then uh, pull up into a 45 degree bank turn to uh, come back uh, on the display line. It just shows uh, the incredible uh, capability of the flight control system uh, that I can do this uh, using uh, the protection systems, being able to just pull up at slow speed, turn in a very, very tight turn here, uh, coming back uh, to point back uh, towards the display line. And as we get back, uh, pointing uh, back, I start a descent and we start to accelerate. Accelerating here, starting to bring the flaps up. Flaps coming back to about two at this point. And then uh, turning, climbing up to 2,000 feet. Speed gets back to about uh, VLS at the top point. Uh, VLS is the min maneuver speed.
then uh, as we reach that point, banking to about 90 degrees to turn quickly back uh, towards the display line and uh, then easing off, starting to accelerate, flaps moving from two to one, looking for the display line now as we're actually descending. And once I can see that display line, I can really uh, go for it, keeping the power on, flaps uh, coming up to zero, and then running in uh, along the crowd line at, uh, at 280 knots. So 280 knots is uh, the speed, uh, nominal speed that we can fly low level, or in fact, a nominal sort of speed that we could do air to air refueling with a fighter. So they're passing the crowd, simulating next a um, TGAS maneuver, a train warning, pulling full back stick, pulling the nose up, clearing the obstacle which is ahead of us. Now well clear, one need to get back to low altitude, banking over 120 degrees. It's great, I love to, uh, to do that maneuver and then uh, easing back uh, down towards the display line again. So once again, uh, really a uh, super airplane uh, for low level flying. Uh, really stable, really agile, and uh, here coming back uh, for the final return to the display line. And then I offset uh, 40 degrees, um, one mile out from the touchdown point, 1,000 feet, make the turn in then uh, and configure to make a landing. Okay. So here we are getting to our turning point uh, for the final landing. Again, because I'm sitting on the left-hand side, uh, looking for the finals turn. But in fact, uh, with the system, with the turn predictor I've got uh, on my flight displays, it really helps me a lot uh, to be able to uh, manage the bank angle, to be able to roll out exactly on the inbound heading for final approach. So most of the flying, or well, all the flying I'm doing is on the head-up display. I've had an occasional glancing down uh, to my navigation display, just to see what my positioning is, to get a few references for angles. And, uh, uh, but most of the time obviously looking out and uh, getting the position right and looking at the speeds in the head-up display. And here uh, coming in on the final approach uh, for Farnborough. tactical military airplane so one of the tasks of the military airplane is to land uh, on a short on paved field we're still in the development phase uh, for the anti-skid system and the reverse but this gives you a preview of uh, the sort of performance that we could expect from the airplane so touchdown uh, full brakes going into uh, reverse and uh, stopping in a pretty short distance It's not bad. And uh, then once we've uh, come to a halt, uh, it could be on a short strip. There may not be a turning circle on that strip. Uh, so the next uh, task that I'm trying to demonstrate here that uh, one of the re real advantages of propellers uh, is that we can uh, reverse taxi with ease. It's part of a basic capability of any turboprop airplane. Uh, and uh, with this type of engine, with a particle separator, which we got below the engine, it means we really don't have a problem with pod. Normal show, we open the ramp door, just to prove to people that we really have a full cargo compartment there, right. and that we did all of that uh, display uh, with about uh, 25 tons above the, the, the minimum weight of the airplane. And that's uh, pretty much the end of the, the show.